hard to convince to talk. Let's see what you guys had to say about this one. You ready? Okay, I'm curious. <laughs> Display, do it. All right, that's pretty noisy, right? Okay. So let's talk through this one right here. All right, good. I'm glad I asked this. Interesting. So the majority does not win here. All right, so let's think about what circuit we actually get, right? So whenever you're hooking this thing up, we're attaching some voltage source, right? Uh, we're saying there's an ohm or so here. We have this tiny inductor. And we want to know what's this current, right? Uh, wait, what are we measuring again? Yes, that current. OK, so if we set up this circuit in the lab, right? We attach our voltage source. Uh, what will, what will uh, you can think of it kind of like this, right? Like you in the lab, you connect up the voltage source comes down at, say, t equals 0, right? So this is kind of the problem. This is your setup, right? Because you are now uh, you know, attaching a thing. So what will this look like uh, if we have just this circuit right here, if this is time? What will it do? So when you first attach to this voltage source, uh, how much current's going to flow? 0, right? OK. And after a long time, what's going to happen? It'll be V what? Yeah, 1, right? So eventually it'll be V over 1 ohm, right? So you measure this. All right. Um, let's see. Uh huh. <laughs> that's confusing. Because that's not a horizontal. OK, yeah. All right. Well, I can see why you guys are confused on this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a similar question, but I'm going to change the word horizontal to not be there. OK. What do you guys think now? <laughs> so is that why you're confused? Let's go back to the other one. All right, you guys got it. Done. OK, so I want to see your answers to the other one. All right. There you go. The word horizontal sneaks in there. Ruins your day. OK. So let's finish it out, because you know some of you still might not have that. So. OK, so let's say we're doing that table, right? V, I. So in lab, what number will you see? What, what part of that table, are you, what part of that graph are you going to see in lab when you hook this thing up? So what's the, how do we know how fast this thing rises? So it takes some amount of time, right? OK. So. We go through, we know that it's going to be you know, I final minus I initial at 0. Uh, I have to fix that one. P alpha I final, right? 0. No. Right? 0. This is 0. Then the finals cancel out. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, you agree with me that that's the case, right? That the current should grow that way. Um, so what's our tau going to be in this case? Over L. And I always get it backwards in my head, so let's think about it. Um, L over R, OK, let's see. So if we wanted to actually, so let's say, you know, we don't have our inductor capacitor cheat sheet, and we want to figure out which way it is. Um, how would you go through figuring out what tau is? What's that? Yeah, yeah, right, the differential equation. So, wow. So I always mix up. Anything that's like a minus or a plus, man. 
Things upside down, those always can mix me up. So if we did it, right, um, the differential equation there, um, if you'd like, is just going to be L I T plus I L R um, minus V equals 0, right? I don't like that. Okay, so what I really want is L over L and go plus. I want the I's, don't I? All right. Here I am slowing it up in here. All right, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Tau has to be what? 1 over T? What? Why? Tau is 1 over T. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we have to know what the inductor unit is, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tau over T and R. Not following. All right. Um. This is embarrassing. Where are we at? Yeah, no, that's right, but I want L. Hold on, V. Yeah. I didn't follow. Say it one more time so I understand. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I guess R over L. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we are lazy. Um, T plus V. I L R L. Okay. So we divide by L. Okay. Cool. Okay, that seems good. Um, all right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we know that whenever we go through and solve this thing, right, it's going to look like a e to the uh, minus r over l t, right? Um, and so what that means is that tau has got to be l over r, right? Make sense? Okay, there we go. L over r. But if we just write it down or just remember it, I don't know why I always mix that one up, right? RC is easy, but somehow that one befuddles me. All right, so back to this question. We're slowly grinding through. So the time constant in this case is going to be how long? Yeah, one millisecond. OK, what does that mean? When we hook it up in lab, how long does it take to get up pretty high? Yeah, a few milliseconds, three, four, five milliseconds. OK, so it depends on how fast you are, right? If you measure super, super fast, then maybe you'll catch something early, but in the time it takes, you know, your multimeter to respond or your eyeballs to respond, where are you going to